doing EEG synthetic generation tool and uh, combine it with uh, synthetic noise generation. Yeah, this one's pretty simple. They combine it with a synthetic EEG generator doing everything in uh, Python and uh, JavaScript. Mainly trying to rely on JavaScript just to reduce the load on my server. So we essentially will be combining these uh, two tools. So on the EEG generation side, yeah, we have a lot of the stuff is done in uh, Python. The technical details, so this is running on the server. Yeah, so we have the features. The synthetic EEG signal generator is a web-based tool for generating artificial EEG signals for testing and evaluating various algorithms, devices, or theories related to electroencephalograms, EEG. This Flask-based application allows users to adjust parameters such as amplitude, bandwidth, and window size to create synthetic EEG signals and visualize their spectrum. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah, the spectrum is this uh, bar, bar chart, so it's not uh, great. How about we add the limitation section? So we have uh, future directions, yes. So in this case, it's only taking stuff, I would imagine, from the HTML. It's not uh, looking at the backend. Hey, we do have a description for the backend. Uh, yeah, it's a Flask uh, application. The synthetic EEG signal is generated by combining sinusoidal waves for different frequency bands, delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma, with adjustable amplitude and bandwidth parameters. The signal is then windowed to create segments of data for visualization and analysis. Yeah, that's more or less correct. The EEG spectrum is calculated using the Fast Fourier Transform, FFD, algorithm to convert the time domain signal into the frequency domain. The resulting power spectrum shows the distribution of signal power across different frequency bands, which can be used to analyze the characteristics of the EEG signal. Issues. Research and development of EEG-based technologies and applications, testing and validation of signal processing algorithms for EEG data, education and training in EEG signal analysis and interpretation, simulation and modeling of brain activity for scientific and medical purposes. Yeah, that the uh, application should be fine. It's again uh, generic. The synthetic EEG signal generator is built using the following technologies. Flask web application framework for Python. Plotly library for interactive data visualization. JavaScript and Ajax for real-time updates and interactivity. HTML and CSS for user interface design and layout. Yeah, that's fine. The other thing I realized that every time you load it, yeah, it's generating this uh, random uh, EEG you can adjust it but uh, on loading the page there's some uh, randomness to it uh, which is a bit odd it's yeah, just that number is really small there hey, this is your amplitude control yeah amplitude should be yeah so this is random yeah there's some noise a uh, noise embedded in it um, that's why the randomness I get the slightly different result every time I run the application. Why is that? Yeah, so the bandwidth can be improved a lot by getting rid of the bar chart and actually doing a proper a bandwidth because uh, then you can see when changing one of those, the alpha there should be going wider. Currently. Yeah, really weird. Something is wrong. Yeah, when changing those, you should uh, see essentially this bar, if it's a proper chart, uh, becoming much wider. So that's what we going to be doing in the next uh, uh, version of this. Yeah, we have the frequency set to random frequency. Yes, yeah, so we have the frequency range. The frequency should not be random, it's the amplitude, if you want to add noise to it. And that's a bit odd. So generating a random frequency within the specified frequency range for each EG band. This frequency is randomly chosen each time the function is run. The resulting in static EG data will vary slightly with each execution. This is intended to simulate the natural variability seen in real EG. Still felt that we'll, um, that we will be varying the amplitude instead or in addition to. Uh, let's see. Actually not a bad uh, description. It should go into... Should we have another 
cyclical data no uh, python backend yeah this should be another a uh, python's generating yeah there's some uh, randomness a to the thing a turn it into a paragraph so why it's uh, formatting it in a weird way Python is generating a random frequency within a specified frequency range for each EEG band, delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma. Because this frequency is randomly chosen each time the function is run, the resulting synthetic EEG data will vary slightly with each execution. This is intended to simulate the natural variability seen in real EEG data. The front-end interface is designed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to provide interactive controls and visualizations for the synthetic EEG signal and its power spectrum. The Plotly library is used to create dynamic charts that update in real time as the user adjusts the parameters. Just making sure, yeah, we're using uh, Plotly. The synthetic EEG signal is a simplified model and may not fully represent real EEG data. The signal generation process does not account for noise or artifacts present in actual EEG recordings. The application is designed for educational and research purposes and may not be suitable for clinical use. Well, that's for sure. Uh, let's do with a workspace function. Update based on um, backend code it's collecting data forever the project is small it's uh well it's tiny okay, let's see if we uh, try to regenerate it the synthetic eeg signal generator is a simplified model of real eeg data and may not capture all the complexities and nuances of actual brain activity yeah that's better because it does uh, before it said it didn't have the uh, noise uh, it does have noise the generated signals are deterministic and do not include noise or artifacts that are commonly present in real EEG recordings. <laughs> um, what okay, with the workspace handle, so it has access to the whole project. Uh, didn't we just say that we do have a noise generation in Python? Yes, we generate random a uh, frequency components. Okay, so can we update this then? The generated signals are synthetic, simulating EEG-like data with user-defined parameters. While they aim to mimic real EEG recordings, please note that they may not include all types of noise or artifacts commonly present in actual EEG data. Okay, this is better because it says uh, they do not include all types of noise because they do include some noise. So The frequency bands and parameters used in the generator are based on general guidelines and may not accurately reflect individual differences or specific conditions. Yeah, that just sounds like a general uh, disclaimer, that's fine. The power spectrum calculation is an estimation based on the FFD algorithm and may be affected by windowing and other factors. Yeah, that's the one we need to improve uh, later. The EEG spectrum currently, it's um, using bar charts. Is that a limitation and how can we improve this in the future version of this uh, web application? Uh, using the bar chart is not necessarily a limitation, but rather a design choice. Yeah, it's a, it's not a bug, it's a feature, isn't it? Um, charts are simple and effective on comparing quantities across different categories, in this case, different frequency bands. However, there are potential improvements that could be made in future versions. Use uh, line charts for time series data. If the EG spectrum data is time series, changes over time a line chart might be more appropriate it would allow users to see how the power in each frequency band changes over time that's not what i meant it's not exactly what i meant i meant instead of bar chart should we use a linear distribution so a distribution graph the power power distribution yeah it's already writing the code okay this is what uh, Copilot is better at. Um, maybe we'll start using uh, GPT-4 quickly to give us the general context as well. Uh, consider switching from bar chat. That's right. Format so, selection. Uh, turn it into HTML text. Consider switching from a bar chart to a distribution plot for visualizing the EEG spectrum. This can indeed be a beneficial change. A distribution plot, or a histogram, can provide a more detailed view of the data. Instead of simply showing the average power in each frequency band, a distribution plot will show how the power is distributed within each band. 
This could reveal additional insights, such as whether the power is evenly distributed or skewed towards certain frequencies. Uh, that's right. That's pretty good uh, description. We will be leaving this one as uh, is. It's available on the website somewhere down the bottom because we haven't touched it in a while. Yes, yeah, synthetic um, signal generator. And we'll just be adding this description and, and eventually a new version of it. We need the same type of uh, description for the synthetic uh, noise uh, generator. The only thing is if the styling is that we want it to fit the screen. Taking some time to load as well. Yeah, because we have styling for the whole project. We only need the styling for specific features of the application. Uh, we can do them uh, within the HTML itself. Why is there a placeholder? Uh, it should be a placeholder, that's fine. Uh, no, we don't want a 100% width. We want the two charts to always be visible on any screen size. We want the two charts to take about 70-80% uh, of the screen. How can I make the header, the drop down, and the two charts always fit the screen? No, that won't work. Anyway, we'll have to continue this later. Finish that the uh, description. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Uh, go check out uh, bionicchaos.com. There's lots of interesting tools for you to play with, blogs to read. Don't forget to provide your feedback. Bye.